Hi traders, I want to talk to you about the relationship between the stock, the time trading and the market direction. Right now I'm going along with video. This is a video that I took earlier, already posted in YouTube. It's not live. I'm just commenting on something that happened before. I just went long 300 shares and videos as you can see right here. But the decision is also being done with the help of market direction. So it's not just about the trade that I'm taking, it's also about the S&P 500, in this case the SPY. Look at this reversal point right here. I was thinking that there's a good chance that the S&P being a little bit extended to the downside will pull back up right here. So I went long Nvidia when it closed the gap. So at that point Nvidia closed the gap. I hoped it's going to continue. I still hope it's going to continue and I'm watching the market all the time. So the market is in fact the tool that institutional traders are using, meaning they will go long when the market moves up, they will go short when the market moves down, or actually not short, sell. In this case, the market is neutral, it's not going anywhere. So that's not helping my trade, but the thing is, whenever I'm trading anything like Nvidia or anything else, I'm always, always watching the market, looking for the market direction. Right now, market does nothing. So let's see what happens next. Okay, as you can see here, Nvidia pulled back down. Now, I, it doesn't matter if it reached my stop, it didn't reach my stop. The thing is, Nvidia hasn't done anything wrong. It still is uptrending. And the question is, of course, where to move out from a trade like this. On a regular, uptrending stock, if I had a stop loss, I may have already decided to move out of this trade at a loss. I'm down like at this point, like $200, but I'm watching the S&P. Now, if you see the S&P moving up as it is right now, this will soon reflect to Nvidia, meaning since institutional traders are starting to buy right now and Nvidia being a big company is has probably like 80% institutional traders trading it, therefore, Nvidia is expected to move higher. The thing is, watch Nvidia, wait for the pullback, take a look at this small bottoming tail right over here, because this already may be the pullback, and then because the market moved up, expect Nvidia to move up too. Take a look also here. I mean, it's in this case, for example, this stock already moved up just a bit because of the market, and Nvidia is expected to do the same thing too. It's only a matter of time, it may take seconds, it may take a few minutes, but when you long a stock like Nvidia, you see the market moving up, you can ex definitely expect that the stock that you're trending will move up too. So if I wouldn't have been watching the market, the S&P 500 in that case, I may have decided, I could have decided by now to move out of the Nvidia trade because, well, maybe it reached my stop loss. But since I do watch the S&P 500 and I'm also watching Nvidia and right now I look at this small bottoming tail right there, this could be the reversal I was looking for because again, market moved up, Nvidia should be moving up with the market, it didn't happen yet, I'm still ha waiting for it to happen. Now just a little bit uh, fast forward, as you can see here, Nvidia did not really move up yet, but it's just about to do so, here it goes. So that's a fast forward, but it all worked in like two or three minutes. And again, watching the market helped me understand that Nvidia should respond to the market. Now here's Nvidia, it goes up. At this point exactly, I'm no longer down, I'm in a profit. And there we go, right over the highs, again, responding to the market a little bit late, but did respond to the market. So that's exactly what you should be looking for. First, a move in the market, then a move in the stock that you're trading. So Nvidia finally followed the market. One more important thing is to watch NASDAQ 100. NASDAQ 100 being 100 technology company usually moves faster and before the S&P. It does not always tell you exactly what the S&P is going to do, but in many, many times it's like your crystal ball to what will happen on the S&P side. So in this case, in fact, the NASDAQ 100 did move higher earlier than the S&P did. Therefore, gave me some kind of a pre-warning that the S&P just may move after the NASDAQ 100. And then again, once the S&P does, I would expect institutional traders start buying Nvidia and Nvidia to move up. So again, it all starts with the S&P, but sometimes you have some kind of a pre-warning by watching the Nasdaq. 
And this is how this trade ends. Here's the pullback I was talking about earlier. I just moved to a new high. I'm selling 200 shares out of my 300. And again, just remember at this point right here, right there, I was down $200. Now I'm up $200. And that's the big difference of watching the S&P 500 and following the S&P 500. Thank you very much for watching. Traders, if you like to learn trading, trade live with me and get a funded account without risking your money, click in this corner in order to learn more about my funded accounts program. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, just go ahead and click subscribe. Over here, you can find some of my best live trading videos. And please, if you have any questions, let's have a discussion in the comments below.